Good afternoon, wrestling fans, hashtag WWE Universe. Thank you for tuning in to another great episode of the Wrestling Talk Show today. Breaking news, let's get into it. It was reported before Mania 30 that Alberto Del Rio was going to be in line to face Biggie Langston for the WWE Intercontinental Championship at Extreme Rules. Those plans have changed as Del Rio ended up losing the first round of the Intercontinental Tournament against Rob Van Dam to decide who would face Biggie, but Rob Van Dam moved on and Del Rio was eliminated, which shows WWE plans have been changed. Now, what is going on for Del Rio, guys? What is going on, WWE Universe? I want your insight. I want your input. I want you guys to leave me your comments on what's going on here, okay? I'm going to be perfectly honest, guys. You know, I tell like it is, I'm going to be honest. I don't like Del Rio, okay? I don't like him. I didn't even like him when he came into the WWE, you know, but... I don't understand why they're doing this to Del Rio because it's, Del Rio has not been doing good at all since he's been in WWE for a while. The guy has been doing good. You know, this guy deserves a push, okay? This guy busts his ass to do, you know, he busts his ass. This guy's an employer. This guy's making money. This guy, you know, came into this business because he wanted to become something. He wanted to be a main eventer, okay? You know, he wanted to evolve and become like what everybody else was back then in the WWE, okay? That's what he wanted to be. And now you put him in this intercontinental spot and he and Rob Van Dam beats him. Listen, I love Rob Van Dam. I support him throughout the whole years. But you let a part-timer beat a full-time wrestler? How the hell does that happen? How the hell does that work in the WWE now? You let these part-timers beat these full-timers? That's embarrassing. You know, nothing against Rob Van Dam. I told you guys, I love Rob Van Dam, but... Dario deserves this. Dario deserves to go on and be an intercontinental champion, okay? I mean, he's a professional wrestler. Don't you want to be? Don't you want to be a main eventer? Don't you want to be that guy? That's what but Dario wants and they just change it all on him. I don't know. Sometimes I don't know what WWE goes in directions with some of these with some of these, you know, these rest these full-time wrestlers it seems. I don't sometimes I don't understand them with on some parts. You know, but I'm going to leave this link in the proof in the description box. You guys can go read this article and give me your insight on how you feel about this. But I would want to see, you know, Rob Van Dam as an Intercontinental Champion. This guy was a good champion as an Intercontinental. But you know what? I think Dario deserves it. I really do. And that's how I feel about being a WWE fan. I, I look and decide this stuff. And, you know, even if I hate the guy, you know, I still know this guy busts his ass to get where he wants to be in this day. And this damn WWE business because you know what it, it takes a lot of hard dedication to bust your ass all the time to get to the top in any any not in any job not just WWE okay you bust your ass and then you get repaid by this so you know what I'm done guys um and I'll subscribe to us and talk show guys if you guys are new to this subscribe to us and talk show if you're new to it you guys will get the best I guarantee you I'll see you guys later.